guys, so today I am sharing a wish list with you. Now, <laughs> perhaps it's a good thing this is a wish list because it means that I'm able to exercise some amount of self-control and not just go out and buy all of these products. So in a way, this is like a little bit of retail therapy for me, just being able to share with you the things that I would like to buy, but my conscious brain has told me I probably don't need at this very moment. Maybe if I can help you guys make purchases, I can like live vicariously through your shopping experience or something like that. But either way, I wanted to clue you guys into these products because they are awesome and I would definitely buy them in full size at some point. Maybe I don't need them at this exact moment because my collection is definitely not lacking for any skincare, hair care, anything like that. But they will remain on the wish list when it is time for me to restock one of these kinds of products. So the inspiration for my wish list today are beauty minis. I don't know about you guys, but I just think anything in miniature form is so freaking adorable. I definitely have a weak spot for like tiny beauty products. I mean, let's be serious. If we go all the way back to my childhood, I've always been obsessed with miniature anything. I had a dollhouse with like tiny little measuring cups and little miniature curtains and carpets and I just... I love all of that kind of stuff. I definitely know that I have a weak spot when I see those like sampler sets from Sephora and things like that. All the little tiny beauty products are just super appealing to me, which in the end means I have tried a lot of stuff. Now it's actually more of a rarity for me to go and buy a full size product after I've used up a deluxe sample, mostly just because I have so many things to try. I get a lot of samples in subscription boxes and things like that. I get things sent to me sometimes. so. Usually I have backups upon backups of stuff, so very rarely will I actually go out and make a purchase. So a product has to really, really impress me for me to go out and buy it in full size if I've tried it in a deluxe sample, because most of the time I'm just gonna go on to whatever else I already have in the cabinet. So these are the products that I have tried in miniature form that I think are totally worth purchasing and definitely are on my wish list to buy at some point in the future. So why don't we start out with hair. The first product here is something that I got in a sampler kit from Birchbox eons ago and this is the Fave 4 Twice as Thick Thickening Cream. This is something I honestly have never heard anybody talk about ever before, but it is amazing. Now, my hair is a very fine, very straight, and needs all of the help it can get in the volume department. And this was a very thick sort of cream that you put in your hair when it was damp before you blow dried it, and it added so much volume to my hair, it was crazy. But it didn't make it feel um, like sticky or tacky, it didn't add any weird texture to my hair, it just added tons of volume. So I would definitely buy this in the full size, for sure, I've used this whole sample up, so at some point this is something I would definitely consider purchasing. I also finally busted out this sample of the Bumble and Bumble um, Preta Powder. This is something I kind of had in the cabinet for a little while. I don't remember where I got this sample from. I think maybe a Sephora Favorites kit. And I finally decided to use it and oh my god, this is the best dry shampoo for my hair I have ever used. Now I typically use the kind you spray in. This is a powder that you literally just sprinkle out. You can sprinkle it into your hands, you can sprinkle it directly into your hair. But it just adds a ton of volume and it really, really soaks up oil so good in your hair. It's just incredible. I feel like this has made my hair look more clean and voluminous than anything else that I've ever used before. So would definitely buy this in full size. Now I am definitely a nerd for skincare, but I'm also very picky about the products that I like and I have a massive collection. So I've been really good about not buying more skincare, but these are like the top of the list of things that I would go out and buy as soon as I need to restock. First is a toner. This is the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. This is a cult classic product. So many people rave about it. I finally got a little sample of it and it has been amazing. Glycolic acid is totally my new favorite skincare ingredient by far. It's basically a chemical exfoliant, so it helps to break down that dead skin and debris from your skin, keep it looking nice and fresh, and it's not as harsh and abrasive as a physical exfoliant. So this has 5% glycolic acid in it, and I use it morning and night, and it definitely has helped my skin to look clearer, have less little tiny bumps. It's just basically the bomb. The only thing you want to keep um, in mind if you're using glycolic acid or any other kind of alpha hydroxy acid is to use sunscreen every day because it will make your skin more prone to burning. So sun damage is not fun. It is no joke. So 
I use SPF every day. If you're gonna go out and buy that product, I would recommend you do the same. On that note, uh, I also got a sample of the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This stuff is so pricey. Drunk Elephant skincare is expensive, and I have never bought anything from them in full size, but man, if I'm gonna get something, it's gotta be this night serum because this is amazing. This again has uh, glycolic acid in it and it's just a really gorgeous serum. You can apply it to your skin at night. It just keeps it looking fresh, radiant, clear. It is really, really good. So I honestly normally am not a huge serum person. Like I have a couple, but it's not something that I like love and just can't wait to use. It's something that's sort of like, oh, maybe I should put a serum on tonight. This, however, I actually been looking forward to using. And this is only five mils, so I know it's about to run out, which is gonna be a super sad day. But if maybe I get a gift card or some opportunity in the future to splurge and treat myself, this is something I definitely wanna get. This is another pricey product, which is another part of the reason why I have not gone out and purchased it, but I really liked it a lot. This is the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. This smelled like a creamsicle, no lie, it was so delicious, and it had a really interesting texture. It was very moisturizing and almost balmy, but it left your skin feeling mattified. It was a strange, strange thing, but I really liked it. I did not have any irritation or sensitivity, even though this is pretty heavily fragranced. So that was something I was concerned about, so I'm glad I had a chance to test that out first. But yeah, I'm a really big fan of Glam Glow's masks. I've tried a bunch of those before in little samples as well. Those I also, I, I'm not including in this video, but definitely are something that I've been thinking about buying in full size. They're so expensive for a mask and for what you get that I haven't really thought that it was worth it to invest. But I feel like a moisturizer is something that stays on your skin all day as opposed to a mask is something you put on and wash off. So if I was going to invest, I think as far as a Glam Glow product goes, I would get this moisturizer because it was really good. And then the last skincare product I have here is from the brand Herbivore. This is a brand I've been really interested in trying more from. They seem really cool. They have just very interesting sort of natural products very effective ingredients and I just feel like they're really up my alley so I was really happy to get a chance to try out their blue tansy resurfacing clarity mask now this has blue tansy in it which is the same ingredient as the Luna sleeping night oil that makes it this blue color so I've tried Luna oil before I really like that again that's something I've tried in miniature size that I have really liked but is very expensive and honestly I don't entirely think that it's worth the over hundred dollar price point which is why it's not in this video but this mask is really cool it's got like a almost gel like texture you put it on your skin you leave it on for about 10 minutes or so and then you rinse it off it leaves your skin feeling so smooth it has a lot of chemical exfoliating ingredients so again less harsh than a physical scrub for your face but still gives you the benefit of kind of aiding that cell renewer cell renewal turnover process. Yes. Now this product, along with a lot of other things from Herbivore, are a bit on the pricey side. So this is something that I definitely would only buy to like splurge and treat myself. I have so many masks. Do I really need this in full size? Probably not, but I do think that it works well and I really enjoyed using it a lot. So if I was gonna go buy a mask, this would probably be at the top of my list. And then I have two makeup products here to share. The first one I've used in a bunch of tutorials and posts on Instagram. I use this legit all the time. Of all of these products, this is probably the one that has been most consistent in my everyday routines and probably would be the first thing that I was to purchase of all of these products if I had to only pick one. It is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This is the best cream bronzer I have ever used. It is so easy to apply, it blends into the skin so nicely and it looks really natural. I just love it. So this sample size has lasted me a really long time and the full size is giant so I feel like it will be way more bronzer than I will ever be able to use before it goes bad because it is a cream product so the shelf life will be shorter than a powder product the only downside. So this is definitely something that I would purchase in the full size. It's just a beautiful summer bronzer, especially if you're wearing like BB creams, tinted moisturizers, things are a little bit more light and creamy. You can just swipe this on, blend it out with your fingers and you're good to go. And then the last product that I wanted to talk about are the Bite Beauty Lip Pencils. This is a relatively new launch from Bite Beauty. And I got this sample from Sephora a few months back and oh my God, this is the most beautiful, 
pencil. Now, I don't even wear lip liners that often, to be perfectly honest, but I found myself reaching for this all the time. This is the shade 22. I need to sharpen it. Uh, but it is a really beautiful sort of peachy rose nude color, and they just go onto the lips so nicely. It's not too creamy, not too dry. It's just like the perfect texture for a lip liner. You could wear it all by itself, or you could wear it underneath another product, and it's just so natural, so easy to use. Yes, you do need to sharpen it, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but it, I think that Bite was going for that true classic lip liner feel, not the automatic pencil. And because you do have to sharpen it, you can get that really extra fine point on it, which can be nice for filling in your lips if you want a lot of extra precision. So those are all the products that are on my beauty mini wish list currently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got inspired or at least have some pointers in terms of your own beauty shopping. Again, I will live vicariously through you since I personally don't need to run out and buy these products immediately, but I want to really want to. If you've tried out any little mini beauty products recently that you've been dying to buy in full size, definitely let me know about it in the comments down below. I would really love to hear from you guys. And if you enjoy these wishlist style videos, please give this one a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. And again, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll click that little subscribe button or click my face at the end of this video. Stick around and see more of the fun beauty content I have to share. So thank you guys again for coming and hanging out, chatting about beauty products with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.